Hello everyone, this is Delta Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends Disney Plus Series WandaVision uh, Scarlet Witch figure. So let's go over the packaging here. So first we get the Marvel Legends logo on top, we get the WandaVision logo and Disney Plus Series uh, logo there with Scarlet Witch. And then here's the top with the Scarlet Witch emblem there, varnished nicely. And then we get the side art of Elizabeth Olsen in that Scarlet Witch costume that looks awesome. And then here's that same side art there. And then if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's the Marvel Legends logo there. And then right now we're building the Captain America's wings or Falcon's wings. So here we're working on Scarlet Witch. We already did White Vision, Loki. We're going to work our way to Winter Soldier next. And then we get U we already did U.S. Agent, Baron Zemo, and then Captain America uh, for the last one. So we could build this with them. And then uh, here's the bottom with the DCPI. Um, I'm on vacation right now. If you guys haven't seen the other four's reviews, make sure you guys go check that out. But I'm also going to do a transition here right now. And here's the Scarlet Witch on the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories first. So we get this piece here for Captain America's wings. So we'll go over that once we build the figure here. I'm going to build the vehicle uh, with Captain America. And then we get two of these translucent uh, hands here. Um, it's like when she's doing her spells, nice red looking texture there. And it kind of looks like it's phasing into like normal hand kind of. No, never mind. It's just uh, this little joint here. And this one goes side to side, whereas this one goes up and down. You can kind of tell. So yeah, and you get these two effects here that are like hot pink there, soft plastic. So you can just wrap that around her wrists and boom you got the um effects there but besides that that's what we got for accessories so here is Scarlet Witch up close so yeah it looks a whole lot like Elizabeth Olsen uh which everyone is simping for <laughs> um but yeah uh I love the hair in the back there it looks just like it in the movie uh all curled up and everywhere kind of except it was more raised in the show but I don't care that much um, definitely resembles a lot like Elizabeth Olsen. Um, and you get this like headpiece here that she finally got in the show. I think it was a little bit darker. I wish they would have done a little bit of a darker color for it, but or at least gave it some black or darker red for the, uh, sculpted parts here, you know, like the sculpted in, but yeah, face sculpt just looks Stunning. Looks just like Elizabeth Olsen. And you get the green eyes. Yeah. And then you get these like sleeves here for arm that is started in the middle of her bicep here and then go all the way down. Finger, fingerless um, gloves here. And you get this like a lighter red here and then you get this like dark red for the uh, leather look. And you get some lighter red around the edge there. Same deal on the other ar uh, arm there. And then you get this uh, cool looking dress for her. That looks sick. So yeah, you get that like little metal piece here that's supposed to be like for um, Vision's Mind Stone kind of. It doesn't look quite, it doesn't quite look like it, to be honest though. It looks a little, uh, it's probably just a mispaint there. That's why it's looking weird. And you get some more red around the edges there. Miss paint there, scuffing, I'm guessing though. But yeah. And then, so yeah, you get some light red down the middle, you get some dark red overall, and you get some black down the sides here. Same deal here, you get some light reds here. Miss paint, kind of misaligned to look like. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's misaligned. And then you get some more red, light red here with the black outlining there good I like the texturing for this figure and you get the pants here that look really good so you get the red lines down the middle of the leg here through the boots and their heels actually um, the texturing is really good for these pants too I like these a lot and then you get these this buckle here or belt piece here for so yeah and yeah that's what we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So I believe it's a ball joint. Yes, double ball joint. So her head can move down that far, just up that far. The hair is too foofy and thick for that. 
She can look left and right. She has some hip pivoting there. Arms can move out past, a little past 90 degrees. 360 rotation there. I wish they did the bicep swivel. Um, she, single joints to the elbows. Um, please do double joints next time, please. Um, but yeah, it goes past 90 degrees, so that's a good thing. So this one, this hand here wants to go side and side. So down that far, up that far. And then this other hand here goes up and down. So it goes down that far, up that far. And if you switch them out, it's gonna be the same deal. And then you get this diaphragm joint for her, so it can go forward that far, backwards that far. She can go side to side, 360 rotation around there. Her legs can kick out that far. She could probably kick out farther if it wasn't for this like long skirt piece here for her. Kick forward that far. Backwards, not a whole lot. Skirt pieces in a way. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Still get the pin joints in there for some reason, even though I think this is a brand new sculpt. Uh, ankle skin down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. All right, so this that's Scarlet Witch for you. I highly recommend getting this one. Um, so yeah, definitely get her for sure. I love everything about this figure except for you need to add in double jointed elbows and then the pinless joints. But besides that, that's really it. I don't have a problem with the head not going up that far because the hair is too foofy. But there, I, I everything around it, about this figure is just perfect, basically. Um, my complaints are basically just nitpick. Uh, besides the head sculpt, I meant that, not the head sculpt. The uh, head movement, I guess, uh, needs a little work, but the hairs, like I already said. But make sure you guys check out my Twitch, The Hunter Collector. I am out of town, so I don't have my PlayStation 5 on me. So uh, you won't, I, I won't be on there for about a week. Um, so yeah, but still make sure you check that out because I have some videos on there you guys want to watch. And I'm also doing vlogs for my YouTube, so make sure you keep an eye on YouTube too. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I got.